Hello, good people, and welcome to Finder Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect, and we grow. It's our first video of the year, and I would like to wish you a happy new year. Thank you so much for your support and subscribing to watch our videos throughout all the years. A new year offers us an opportunity to reset and then implement plans to achieve new goals. Now, talking about resetting, in this short video, I'm going to show you a neat way to reset the slices in your dashboard. So if you have several slices, instead of manually clicking to reset them, you can just use one icon, click everything resets, and then you can start your presentation all over again. So join me in Excel and let's go through this together. Okay, so we begin with the sales dashboard. It's a simple sales dashboard showing us our revenue, cost, profits, seasonality, top customer, and all that. We can slice by region, we can slice by year. Okay, everything is in here pivot tables, your DAX calculation. This is actually the capstone in my latest book, Data Modeling with Excel. You get to learn how to complete this dashboard using all the tools that I mentioned. I'll show you how to get a book at the end of the video. Now, what we want to do is instead of manually clicking to reset the slicer, we just want to assign that instruction to just a simple icon. Okay, it can be located in the top right, wherever you want to place this. So I'll begin by inserting right an icon. So I have Microsoft 365. You can even bring in your own icon if you want. So I'll go into my icons and then it opens up all the icons i can search for the particular one i'm interested in so here i'm looking for the filter icon i have two options i'll choose the one with a fill okay so i can also change the color if i want okay so usually you can place this anywhere that makes sense in the design of your dashboard so i'll just resize it a bit okay and then place it somewhere here okay so now that this is here i can go to my graphics format okay and then choose the color to match the design so that's what i have now this basically is an object i can assign a macro to so if i select it i can just right click and then i have an assign macro option here in the right click menu right a very simple macro so don't worry so i click on this and then this dialog box opens okay so i just need to put in the macro name so I'm going to call this reset slices. So this is reset slices. And I'll go ahead and click new to record this in the VB editor. So when I do this, it opens a new model and I'm supposed to just proceed and put in the instruction. So basically it starts with a subroutine, the name, and then the end of the subroutine, which is basically an instruction. So in here, what I want to do is first refer to the workbook. So I'll go this workbook, okay? Now in the workbook, there are elements or objects in the workbook. So I'm looking for all slices and that is actually slicer caches. So this workbook dot slicer caches, right? And then I'll open my bracket. Now when I open my bracket, I'm supposed to put in the name of the particular slicer I'm looking for. So in this case, I have two, right? It helps to know the name before you come here, but you can always go back to our workbook. So I'll come here and then I'll select the first slicer, go to my slicer tab menu. So I'll go to my slicer tab and you see you have slicer settings here. What you see is a slicer caption. That's not the name we want. We want in the slicer settings, the name you can use in formulas. So in this case, this is reading slicer underscore date hierarchy that's a name for this slicer if i click on the other one and i come here and the slicer settings this is slicer underscore location so those are the two names that we'll need to put in our instruction so now that we have this i can come back to my vb editor and then in double quotes put in the name so this is going to be slicer underscore date underscore hierarchy or it can be simpler to make it easier for you okay so this is the first slicer when we are done we just copy and paste for the rest okay now i've selected a slicer what do i want so i just want to clear so when i bring a dot all the instructions or actions come 
So I will clear the filter. That's basically what I want. So this is the complete instruction we need to clear one slicer. I'm going to highlight and copy this. Okay, stand in here, shift enter, and then paste this. Okay, so in here, you know what you need to do. Just change the second one. And I'm going to call this location. Okay, so if I have more, I'll just paste and then edit the names. So we have this, we are done. I'm going to close the VB editor and then come back here. Okay, now before you even test, it's advisable to save your workbook as a macro enabled workbook. Okay, so I will come here F12, right? And then I will save this. Okay, choose the save as type as an Excel macro enabled workbook. This way your macros get saved. Okay, so I'll save this. So this is done. Okay, now we have active slices 2019 and central region. So if I come here and I click on this, expectation is that it clears all, right? Let's try it again. So Eastern region, okay, 2018. Okay, then if I come here, it clears it all, right? So you can put this anywhere as part of your design. Okay, choose any icon that you want and you are able to, at a go, just click and then reset, right? So I mentioned that you can learn how to build this dashboard from scratch. We cover DAX functions, cube functions, pivot tables, and all those things that you need to actually get insight from data in Excel. All these are available in my latest book, Data Modeling with Microsoft Excel. You learn how to model and analyze data using DAX, Power Pivot, and Cube functions. It's available for you to order on Amazon directly. Please do, and then keep me posted on how your practice is going. Thank you so much for watching i would like to again wish you a fruitful year in 2024 have a good day if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our youtube channel finest skills hub all our old videos are here please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles Thank you so much for watching.